<laughs> what is up, you guys? Welcome to another episode of Digital Blackface. It's your man, Poe, right here. Uh, today we have Lamb Hammer, as always, of hey. my co-host. Uh, Amy was supposed to be with us, but she's running a little bit late, so let's see if she'll actually make it. We have my buddy, single player Carl, with us in the podcast today. And another one of my friends, Mariner. Mariner, want to introduce yourself? Hello, everyone. Okay, that's an introduction. So today, we're talking about the same thing that everyone on Twitter has to be talking about. Otherwise, they'll get attacked by a mob. We're talking about BLM. So, uh, Carl, would you mind just <coughs> defining BLM to anyone who, for some reason, lives under a rock? Ah, yes. Lovely. Hello, everyone. I hope y'all are having a good day or night today, wherever you may be living. We're going to talk about two different things because there's plenty of people who are going to be listening to this podcast to learn and also to laugh and also to seethe. So this one's out here for you little bitches. There's a difference between the terms BLM as they mean two different things to very two specific groups of people. We're going to be discussing both. I need to take out my gum for this. I want to make sure you hear every word I say clearly so you don't try to talk shit about us in your mentions anymore. There is a difference between... They're still going to do that, Carl, right? I know they will. I know they will. They've been sending me their dick pics. And honestly, six out of ten, guys. There is a difference between Black Lives Matter as a sentiment when we, black people, get unfairly put in the worst kind of chain gang conditions when we're being apprehended, arrested, processed, charged, outright mocked and slandered as criminals only for people to say, oh, well, you see, it's not their fault. They didn't do nothing. There's a difference between being behind the sentiment and saying, you know what? I don't like it that black people get fucked over. And there's also a difference between Black Lives Matter as an organized movement and an industry standard for organizing these prime and protests you've been seeing all over the U.S. country and also other countries the world over, when they say, yes, we are all about Black Lives Mattering, except Black lives like the people of David Doran. Picking and choosing which one you choose to say you mean is the difference between me being able to say, you know what? Sakimi Chan did a lot of good things. She draws a nice titty, but... At the same time, she's a monster because she happened to like a couple of posts on Twitter. And the difference between you being one of the people out there, like Candace Owens in a stinky ass cutting, deciding to say, you know what, the life, the life of George Floyd, he, he's just an example of exactly why we just celebrate criminals. And some of y'all being able to sit there saying, all caps are bastards. It's time for us to go fish out the great white horn himself and show him what it really feels like to have a struggle session of their own. If you did not know that those are the two definitions, it as a sentiment and the other acts as an organization, this is your free chance for me to you from single player Carl, your free N-word pass. So you can say, I'm not going to say on your broadcast, Bo, but you can say, never I knew it. It's not okay. It's That's your fault. Yeah, it's <laughs> only to people I know, Carl. Only to people I know. <laughs> okay, so, oh, uh, <laughs> so just in general, like the issue with oh, BLM Amy's taking. Here. A, oh, Amy is here. Amy, how are you doing? No, I'm not gonna say anything. Okay, cool. Anyway, the issue with BLM taking over Twitter these last few weeks is just that it's grown from just people talking about a cause, people talking about George Floyd, people talking about Breonna Taylor to people actively making it their job to hunt down and attack people who aren't talking about it. Basically, yeah. the the whole idea is that if you're not talking about it, you're a bad person who thinks black lives don't matter or who thinks black lives should be black people should not. When all you're all they're doing is literally just saying, oh I'm just I'm just dealing with my own regular tweets. I'm just putting out my art. I'm just I just don't feel like anything I have to say will be important. And they're like, oh, no, you have a platform. It's your job to talk about oh, this. Please. It's your oh, job please. to uh, oh, enlighten. Yeah. Okay, fine, Carl, go ahead. <laughs> ooh, ooh. I have got this script memorized, everybody. <clears throat> From the likes of people like Salty D.K. Gan. I'm going to try my best to get his accent right. <clears throat> 
Who the fuck do you think you are, John Tron? You have a platform. The fact that you don't talk about this, you could have really used that space, man. Your silence is really fucking deafening. And then from the Captain A cabs out there who keep harassing people. Oh my God, did you see that they didn't like the BLM post? Why didn't the brand just support us? Why are you silent? Don't you know that silence is violence? Okay, yeah, like they, I don't really don't get why they went after. Well, no, that's that's, that's a lie. I get why they went after John Tron. They'll go after anybody, and especially since John, uh, they consider John Tron was Iranian. Person. Yeah, Persian or well, Iranian is the same thing. <laughs> but well, but you typically expats from Iran call themselves Persian because Iran now is like, Ugh. one of these days I'd love to get you to talk to Karosh, Karosh, my buddy. Oh my God, he's got stories to tell. You know well, who I find hilarious that they didn't go after. H3H Reproductions, despite his wife serving in the IDF. I guess because, Palestinian yeah, lives don't matter. That That's too much of an issue for them to bring in right now. They're not going to deal with going over uh, Israel and Palestine or, or that whole thing while they already have both, uh, it, while it's both gay month and black month right now. So they have their, they have too much on their plate. Come on, man. You, you don't think they want to go for the trip, the fucking uh, hat Triple trip? Threat. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, well, they, can, they can make the Kamaza connection. Come on, guys, well, do it. You already did it before. Well, all I'm saying is like I when mean, I saw they can all, going they can over... always combine two of them and have the gays and the black Israelites. I mean, that would be easier. No, the black Israelites. Black Israelites <laughs> hate gays. Like, have you not? Have you not? Black Israelites hate That's gay the people. Joke. They hate. Oh, okay. That's the joke. Okay, but you did see the video where that uh, black lady in New York was literally uh, cussing out that Jewish guy. Oh, right? of course. Mm -hmm. That was that made me laugh. That made me laugh for too long, really. I, <laughs> if I was a better person, I probably felt bad about how long I laughed about that. It was mostly the slurs. It was the slur, the Jewish slurs that made me laugh the most. There's so many. There's you so many. You've gone full circle. Uh, you're so alt left that you're now just alt right. <laughs> oh yeah, the tweet talking about the uh, um, it's it's okay to be homophobic, especially to white gays, but it's not right to be transphobic at all i saw that and i even said it was like did did charat finally transition <laughs> this is the first <laughs> thing i saw first thing i saw when i saw that like i didn't even read what they said that's like oh he finally did it oh wait a minute this is someone else oh lord but, yeah, but... I, have to, I have to take i have to take that's hard to unpack also, I definitely know, like, I was, uh, let, let, this is a side topic, but uh, I was supposed to be working on this episode, it was supposed to be live reviewed by uh, a sponsor, uh, uh, it's a boomer couple, and oh I definitely know that God. we're definitely not getting that sponsorship now. But back to the point. Well, that... thanks for watching, folks. <laughs> yeah, thanks for watching, boomers. Um, back to oh, the yeah, point. just call them boomers, that'll oh, increase God, I'm so well. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, <laughs> madam. I'm sorry, it's sorry, right. madam. I appreciate you giving me the chance, but it looks like we're not we're not getting that sponsorship. But anyway, back to the point. Back to the point. <laughs> it didn't help that Carl started with started with just throwing out the B word just immediately. I knew that was that was it. But anyway, you knew you knew what was important. I knew what B I was word. Important. Yeah, he said bitch, and I was like, oh my god, they are already we started with cursing. I wouldn't. I'm not gonna last very long here if we don't get to curse at all. No, no, you you can curse now, but like I was hoping this episode would be clean so we could uh. Oh, all right. yeah, yeah. We can kind of had to much. say that anyway. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh my God. But back to the point. Mm -hmm. Back to the point. BLM has taken over Twitter. Uh, Carl, what happened to you like two days ago? <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, we all know what I do here on the greater internet. I'm an asshole, but I'm an intellectual asshole. I'm an intellectual asshole who knows how to use his mouth and knows how to piss people off. And I don't do that just because it's fun. I do that because I know it's fun too. But I do it because there are sometimes people in some community spaces that love in these spaces and places to think that they're smarter than they actually are. And I love to shoot these people in the foot, their kneecap, and their whole ass thigh. Because you know what pisses me off, despite being an authoritarian, not the, the, the words hard, being a rhetorian speaker? who knows what these words mean and how dangerous they can be, especially since a lot of them like to repeat ideologies like, oh, I don't know, communism. It's when people use their self-righteous indignation as a sword 
and then use my skin as a shield. That shit pisses me right the fuck off. So, on the internet, I happen to end up crossing paths with a man who figures himself as a comic book writer and a journalist of some kind. He, he's in the middle of canceling an artist right now, one of the original artists that worked on The Simpsons. When he had the audacity to try to talk shit in my general direction, I laughed at his post, and suddenly he shows up to try and ask me some dumbass words and statements. These are what we like to call Captain A cabs. If you don't know what A cab means, ladies and gentlemen, it means all cops are bastards. Now, honestly, wait one second. Honestly, I really felt like a smarter, a smarter uh, one would have been some cops are bastards. Scab. It rolls off the tongue much better. Like and also those the are people. Scabs. That's Isn't what they there believe. An organization already named Scab though. I have well, no idea, and it, I don't care. Scab originally it referred to a. Uh, uh, strike dodgers, but all the people who would know what that are are long dead. So exactly, sure. yeah, yeah. Oh, boomer vibes, man. You know, like, these people don't read. Yeah, they don't. But yeah, they think <laughs> Uncle Tom's a slur, even though he was the hero of the book. But anyway, it, to be honest, I've never read Uncle Tom's Cabin, so yeah, I just kind of just, I never had a reason to read it. I mean, I think we did read it in school, but I just like read the cliff notes and then forgot about it like five minutes later. But back to the point. <clears throat> but yeah. Did you want to cut in with a cab or want me to keep going? Mm, I, I still, I still, they should have gone with SCAB to be honest. Some cops are bastards, just works way better. Yeah, yeah. But, anyways, these, these people, they figure themselves to be great hunters of the digital star ocean, everyone. They go around on the internet finding someone that they can harass, and they do it for, under any pretenses. It just so happens to be that, as you know, never let a good crisis go to waste. So they want to take the time to try and harass any person who does not outright hate cops, who doesn't say those pigs deserve to fry. You know, that old BLM chant, pigs in a blanket, frying like bacon. If they don't go out and they explicitly say fuck cops, they will be in your mentions, they will be in your inbox, they'll be on your company timeline saying how you're a monster and how you need to be canceled. Because how couldn't you stand with all of those little brown boys and girls? You know, the same blonde boys and girls that were robbing places like Nike and HLM. Gotta no. get them new Jordans, man. Yeah, because uh, they, they got, you gotta cop the Jordans. I gotta get my vintage Jordans clear so I can be able to become one of the members of the White Cutting Force, like Whitney Ryan intended. Oh, also, Croc, can I stop you right there? Yeah. Now, Barnabas wants, uh, wants to ask you a question. Yes. Yeah, Barnabas, yeah. uh, hop Hi. on. Hi. Um, so, like, I'm I'm just curious about your your position on ACAB. Um, so do you, do you Wonderful. not think all cops should be wrapped in a blanket and uh and burned alive? Is is that not something you want? Or clearly, if they should be wrapped in the blanket, I want them to have a nice garlic base of loyal, so they come out nice and crispy. I see, I see. I I wasn't sure but, on but your no. position because um, but no, but no, I don't think. But no, but no, cops are not all bastards, ladies and gentlemen. Well, why not? Because if I were to hold every single cop accountable for the actions of all cops, that'd be unfair. Now, this no, is clear well, no. the fact that I don't know. I know where you're going with this. Okay. All right. This is not the same thing as if you're a good cop, you remain silent and you protect your bad cops. You're as bad as the bad cops. I'm going to hold you accountable if you're something that you could have done and you did nothing for because you believe you have to stand in solidarity because you're supposed to do so. Because what are you supposed to do? You're supposed to do your goddamn job. I'm just wait, 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 yeah, but, but you but like, chose. Do you to not remember the... the case? Wait, sorry. One second, Bernard. Like, you remember the case? Like, uh, there was like this, uh, this LA cop. Uh, he was working. He was a black cop working with a white female cop as his partner, mm -hmm. and she was she was beating up. She was like beating, uh, being way brutal, like doing like uh, way more than she had to. He uh -huh. reported her to his superior. He got fired, and then they just brushed over everything she did. Although mm -hmm. he did, he did then go on a police massacre of. Of police officers and their families that resulted in him getting like lit up by 400 cops but other than that you know yeah oh no i already lost i already posted that in the podcast chat and if anybody who's in the discord who saw that can repost that that is a very wonderful entire thing by Dave what? Chappelle in his, oh uh, yeah okay yeah I was gonna say. under 8 46 which is the amount of time eight minutes 46 seconds that the cop put his knee on the neck of david floyd george floyd george floyd 
their, their names are blending together. David Dorch, George Floyd, all of the other women and men. It's it's getting long. How many are we at now of victims that have been killed during the riots? 14? I don't know. White, I black, know Asian, too. Italian? Hmm? There's a whole list of them. But <clears throat> yes, there's plenty of shit that happens where in policing, cops are not doing their jobs. But it would be ridiculous for me to support such a sentiment as all cops are bastards because I've worked with the police departments. I've worked with my federal department, worked with my uh, state departments. I don't know if anybody knows, but I had worked directly with the state which I live in to work to catch the pedos and also get people off the street who are doing that shit, stopping trafficking. It would be an idiot thing for me to say all cops are bastards because clearly not all cops are. But it's enough of them. Well, you enough think that this is bastards change. can do good things, right? Of course I can. I'm perfect example. Bro. Okay. So, like, I, I get it. He, this cop, you know, bought his dad a birthday present, but he's still supporting a, a fucking system that's awful, though. You you can't turn a blind eye. Okay, well, they do some good things, you know. They, you know, they do a good job, but you know, they slip up sometimes. Yeah, I mean, well, I mean, we're all we're all supporting a system that's evil. Just, I mean, just by living, we're all supporting various systems that do horrible things. How curious! I'm pretty sure this whole <laughs> political system is evil. Yeah, you, I mean, what do you mean political? Out. Well, what do you mean political system? You mean democracy? No, not democracy. I'm just about saying. the <laughs> democracy part. Congress, the Senate. You know, it's not very. You mean good corporatism right now? Oh, I think it's wonderful. But, I mean, like, I don't like the businesses, but I mean, to the, for the most part, it's pretty great. I think it's pretty great. Look, I'm just like, I'm not, I'm not like, I'm not. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I'm not like a, a communist or anything. But like, the one thing that I will Here give, uh, I, the one thing that I will <laughs> give, like all the, uh, uh, the hammer and sickles that come across me on Twitter. There is no ethical consumption under capitalism. Does that mean I'm going to stop using Amazon Prime? No, fuck it. I'll, I'll do whatever I want. But do I believe that it's not necessarily the greatest system? Of course. Does it contribute there to horrible no things? Of course. Will I continue to buy chocolate despite knowing that a bunch of black kids uh, risk their lives to make it? Of course. But I can acknowledge that it's bad, and I'm, I'll accept that. It makes mean, that chocolate taste oh so much sweeter. Given the opportunity, <laughs> wouldn't you want a better <laughs> system, though? Or would you just throw of your course. hands up and say, fuck it? Well, see, here's the thing. With me, I'm just going to say that do I want to do I want to lose out on what I already have for the purpose of trying to remake something that will likely never work out, even if it is it's remade? It's an effort... Over satisfaction, I guess a graph matrix, whatever you want to call it. And I'm pretty sure, like, yeah, sure, the system is terrible. Could it be done better? Of course. But is abolishing all cops the way to do it? Definitely not. Um, if we have problems with the system, we should try to change the system. But you know what we shouldn't do? Create an autonomous zone where we don't even know how to plant things because none of y'all oh have to. Oh, no, that's, that's autonomous zone. zone. That is the best the thing that happened zone. to this country in a long fucking time, I swear. Because now, I you know, agree. Right, now all the alt writers know that they can just make autonomous zones. Now all the liberals know well, no, they no, can no, just no, make no, an no. autonomous the, zone. If the alt writers made, made an autonomous zone, they'd be way code Waco. in like five hours. They'd be freaking way code. Like, like, it would be done. It would be immediately done. No, before they would be wake by the police or anything else, they'd be wake by just a bunch of uh, uh, BLM protesters with, like, Molotovs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. If anything, like, if anything, what would happen is the same so ridicule that we're doing. Right is not armed, like, boogaloos with fucking guns? <laughs> yeah. I mean, look, it would turn into a massacre one way or the other. One, That's all I'm going to say. One Black Lives Matter would step on their front porch, and they'd probably light him up like a firecracker. Well, yeah, it would turn into a war. It would turn into a war, a guerrilla war. But that's kind of the, the point. That's why it's great. That's why, uh, I mean. The it really is. Yeah, I mean, I'm not saying I like alt-right people. Not at all. Um, but uh, the the passion of revolution to change your country is not there anymore. And because of that, we are being trampled on. I am, f I am happy to see people actually standing up and fighting for what they believe, even if they can't plant potatoes. Um, <laughs> um, I, I like the enthusiasm. I may not fight for your certain political ideology, but it's a great fucking idea. It's terrific. <laughs> Look, honestly, the, 
I'm all for the idea of building your your own little place if 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 you can manage it. But I just think it's very funny that it's it's only been what two? It's th three days and it's all gone to shit already. Like they it's have been like a week and a half. But really, the formation wow. of a lot of them has been like in the last few days. Oh, okay. Well, we have uh, just in the the Chaz in Seattle. You've got Rasimone already <laughs> taking warlord actions. You've got. Uh, people getting all their stuff stolen. You got a homeless guy taking over one of your farms. You have R word over here. <laughs> just just type just type in Chaz fucking garden. You'll see it. It's it's dumb. See the problem with it is that they're using incomplete gardening knowledge. Is it possible to be able to create multiple layers of compost cardboard, uh, pa gardening paper compost, and then more soil to be able to create an irrigation system that is capable of making plants? Yes, it is. The system what they're using, though, is not going to work for where they are because they don't understand anything about the region where they're trying to make crops because all of that ground is pesticide and is also compacted. So before you even have things go together, and there's already pictures out there of shit wilting and dying, you, your plants not, aren't going to be able to penetrate that soil to get nutrients. And if they do, I wouldn't eat that shit, even if you offered it to me. On top of that, what you've chosen to plant in your ground is so negative to your calorie count, the input you're doing to plant that shit is going to be negative for the actual calorie intake that it's supposed to give you. Okay, and you're Carl, trying before to... you continue, before you continue, yeah. this garden is for black and indigenous folks and their plant allies. Ah, uh, yes, this, this is our humble man. Oh, he invaded the zone. Vegans rise up. <laughs> I want some tomatoes too, though. Can... <laughs> no, I mean, the worst part is. You live in the autonomous zone. You starve in the autonomous zone. <laughs> the worst part is, is that they are using GMO food. So this shit is not even germinating. If if, they, if these plants die, that's it. <laughs> seedless. That, isn't that great, everyone? Oh my god, they, they planted, planted seedless food. food. Yeah. Yes. Well, you know what? It's all it's all Drump's fault. Um, for making all these GMOs, all right? We just got to blame him. We got to take him down, then everything will be fine. I, I like how... I, oh, I the, like how... The garden the, is already the wilting. Spoiler, the I like how the soy spillers didn't think to grab one of the uh, artisan tomatoes that actually has fucking seeds in it. Well, see, it's oh. fun to look at, not fun to plant. <laughs> it's gotta no tomatoes on the arugula. It's, it's all, <laughs> the garden <laughs> is already wilting. Yeah, it's it's really kind of sad because they they went onto the internet and they saw that they were being roasted, but instead of actually reading why they were wrong, they just tried to make a couple of quick changes to make it look better. <laughs> instead of it just being literally dirt on cardboard and that's it, now they're actually making proper farming beds, but they still haven't actually corrected the problem that's going to give them the symptoms of what they're experiencing. It's really It'd be dumb. better if they just started a hydroponic garden. Honestly, they don't know they how might to have do a that. better it, it's Honestly, I, I learned... aren't these liberals aren't they all supposed yes. to know how to smoke weed no. i learned i learned i learned hydroponics I, I, when i was in eighth grade at I, summer I camp joke, science summer camp i joke about them not knowing how to but weed is actually harder to grow than what they're trying to grow and they're still fucking up but you're expecting the Aaron's and the Sarah's and the Tasha's and the Lakondas to actually go to the Wayne's and the Daryl's that grow the shit <laughs> They don't have weed friends. They aren't there. Yeah, because the weed friends aren't fucking there because they're not that well, stupid. They're just high. Po. Yeah, they're chill. They're real. What? What's I, going on? What's going on? I'm your weed friend. How about you and me go down there? We take we take a few weapons and we take over the autonomous zone. You can be the you can be the warlord, right? And I'll Look, I'll be. Burner, I'm, I'm, we just burner, burner, burner. I'm trying weed. to get That's an apartment, not live in a time. tent. We can literally live in two tents. We'll put them together. And then they can be one big tent. How about does that sound good? Is that <laughs> that, that sounds sound horrible. I think sounds I have horrible. a big tent. How about we just pitch it in my backyard? Jesus, I'll it's pitch a easier. tent with you, Mariner. That sounds like a good no. Plan. Oh my no. god! Oh my god! Look, I have a list of the supplies uh, uh, from the Chaz. They they posted a list of the, of the supplies they need: Gatorade and electrolyte powder. Mm. Oh my god. That's yeah, it lit I think somebody actually put that there as a meme, and no one noticed. I think there was a troll among them. Oh my god. <laughs> it's got electrolytes. And this, and by the way, this is not even mentioning the fact that uh, you, you fucking idiots created a literal police state with a surveillance. 
with closed borders, mind you. Yeah, they're literally attacking anyone who enters. Like literally, like uh, uh what's it called? There was, I think there was a, a an ant, um, a, a pastor or something, and they they were kissing him. It was weird. Yes, they uh they they basically tried to restrain the arms of a pastor while he's pleading that he is right with God, and they are sexually assaulting him. Oh my god! It's okay when we do it, right? Dems <laughs> Dems the rules, bro. Dems the rules. <laughs> Where is the fucking popo? They just like disappear. Like, no, oh. they, they, they've been they've been calling them, and they said, okay. "Oh, that's the Chaz, right?" We, I think they have that handled. They're ignoring all of their fucking calls because hey, look at look at look at the Chaz is doing exactly what the police are already doing. Yes, but guys, wait. Look at the podcast chat real quick. Look at the picture I just posted. Look at that guy in the cor in the left corner. I think it. Look, he looks. He's just, yeah, he's not having a good day. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Wait, didn't the city literally tell the police, "Don't go there"? Yeah, let I them think do what they yeah. want. Yeah, so it's yeah. not their fault. So, uh, if they if they kill themselves, it's their fault. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! I shouldn't. Yeah, forget. It. I'm gonna laugh as much as I want. Sadly, we got kind of sidetracked. <laughs> oh, God. Wait, what were we oh, talking about before? Uh, Vernon was asking me the question about whether or not I think all yeah. cops are bastards is a thing. Well, do you do you think all cops are bastards, or do you think only some of them are bastards, and some of them are pretty sweet and cute and, and loving and dubbing? Well, like, like, what's the deal here? Okay, Vernon, I mean, tur turn that down, like, two notches. <laughs> turn turn down the 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 eccentric the eccentric homosexual keep keep the flavor I love the flavor. Carl you're the only bastard here <laughs> oh shit that's corn syrup not sugar that's sugar. some gay shit so so what do you so what do you, so what do you, so what do you think about what do you think about bastard cops <clears throat> my entire thing with cops and them being oh. bastards or not on the whole scale is very simple. It is not all cops, but it's clearly more than enough of them. Okay. The system has to. Be. So let's say this. It let's say to. let's say you work at a puppy smashing factory, right? And uh, you chose that job. You chose to sign up, sign your name on the dotted line of the puppy crushing factory, right? The puppy stomping factory. And you go to work and you stomp puppies, and people are like, "What the fuck? You're stomping puppies, you ugly ass hoe!" Well, I, I mean, I, I I'm not stomping. Pu I'm just. I, like I'm not a bad person. I I'm just working. I'm just doing my job. You know. You're, you're literally describing okay, wait, the wait, wait. Amish. But Burger, okay. okay, look. There's two things. Puppy two stomping? things I have to say. Like, there's no puppy stopping oh factories God, except no un idea. unless you go to no, China. No, 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 unless you go on. to China. Let, there's no, we, unless you go to China, there's no puppy stopping factories. And second, <laughs> that's not a joke. I actually have video of them stop, uh, stopping puppies. If you want to see it, of course. Um, second, of course you do. Of course you do. Be grossed off of podcast, Chris. <laughs> second, oh second I thing. on it. Second thing, you can't really compare the like the police aren't a blatantly a malicious organ. Like they're not bla like their purpose is not blatantly malicious. Like I don't know, seal clubbers or. Puppy stompers. That's that's a bad comparison. It's like saying that uh, hunters are just animal killers. They they like, are. I mean, yeah, but like, <laughs> like look, like that's different. It's like they hunt for food, not hunt just to kill animals. Unless of course you you are a hunter that is is out there killing animals. That would make cats inherently bad. <laughs> like I, that's I, that's the general point. Like we can't compare police to just puppy stompers. It's oh, po, what I I, I care. I love for you. I say this with peace and love, but let me fight my fucking debate for me. Go ahead, Carl. Do your thing. This you're is one to be one, boys. I hope you're ready to bleed. You better get those band-aids ready, bud. <laughs> How was that actually more homosexual than when you started? Oh, I, I, can, I can crank <laughs> I it up a few notches if you want. Started I got my... The podcast I got yeah, my... We, started, we started a while ago. It's 30, 30 minutes. <laughs> Listen, we're I got my homo sex machine. Right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you were late. Yes. All right, let let Carl respond. You were later than a pregnancy, Amy. Oh my God. But no, let's go at your analogy of the Pushman Crushing Factory, right? This puppy crushing okay. factory. Yes. Let's say it's one of the many places that is now destroyed because of those who decided they were going to take the law into their own hands and destroy their neighborhoods. Okay. Right. From the from, I'll put myself in position because it'll make it easier for the analogy. Used. All right. 
at this puppy cushion factory where I live in a shit place and I need to pay for my bills. Mm -hmm. And people who have the sentiment, let's say Peter or something, they destroy the factory because, hey, don't let a crisis go to waste. And also, guys, protect the animals. Regardless of the fact that I don't like crushing puppies, I need to put food in my mouth. Now they've destroyed my job. How do I feed myself? How do I solve my problems? Okay. Get, get another job, okay. Carl. But you guys have raised the neighborhood down to the ground. What? Get, 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 apply to, for, get the government to help you. The government's already trying to help us, and y'all are telling them don't do that, but also do do that. There have been multiple restrictions inside of the bill they tried to give us to give the first means of our taste of socialism plus the trump checks y'all want to give us more but they're taking our own tax money and bleeding it back to people who do not give a shit corporations like nike who on the books for years years have been responsible for oh i don't know taking injustice they've done it everything from how they get their materials to putting together their products y'all just let them off the hook by saying hey black lives matter everybody and you go home me whether or not I like what I'm doing or not, got to put food on the table. Take my shit away from you and destroy any opportunities of anything at all, ever. Okay. Carl, it is I'm astounding. It is astounding it, how okay. you are trying to jump through hoops to justify a fucking puppy smashing factory. Uh, it doesn't matter no. what the factory is. No, it does. It any, does matter. If, the uh, analogy. if no, if Nike was trying, if, if Nike was in this autonomous zone where they're burning shit down, I'd say burn down Nike too. They're oppressive too. I don't give two flying fucks about the Nike factory because the Nike factory is built upon oppression. I don't, I don't care. I don't care if it's your job to work at a puppy stomping factory or a sweatshop manufacturer. I don't care if it's oppressive, burn it the fuck down. You can work at McDonald's. I do not, do, so it do not matter. what about McDonald's? Because they do the same thing. What, what is about how, Who does Wendy's? McDonald's they oppress? They do the same thing. Who does Wendy's about, oppress? Who does Wendy's and McDonald's oppress? Yes. The people who have to get the jobs. In the yeah, I was going to say, the people who work there. That's, that's, <laughs> that's not oppressive. I, I don't think that's not oppressive at all. corporation is your friend. I mean, <laughs> no none of them are. None of them are. No corporation has ever been somebody's friend. You know that. I know that you know that. That's why you said it was a hoop. But it doesn't matter what business it is that gets burned down. It definitely matters. If uh, if yeah, AutoZone gets burned down, I would feel a whole lot worse for AutoZone for than I would for time. Nike. I would feel a whole lot worse what? for AutoZone, the why guy who you, fixes my car. Why are you being gay for a store? Don't do that. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Um, If, if you have a point, then please make it. If you don't, then please it's shut the fuck up. I, liter I um, literally wait, said I my point. The point. It's actually funny the last time you mentioned we should do a debate because we're doing that now. Would yeah. you like to hear what I have to say? Well, yeah, I've been waiting for you to make a point, but you've just been kind of like spewing trash. So could you make one, please? It's not trash. It's the factual things that are happening. I'm okay. one of the many people right here where <laughs> I live that has been personally affected because of the poof riots. Where you went from a state where we're supposed to be waiting to help flatten the curve and stop things. And then we were told, hey, guys, go outside. Take your kids outside. Go to violent riots, whether or not they're being made violent because there are people who are actively making them violent. There are. Whether or not they've been nonviolent, and there has been plenty of them that have been nonviolent. Well, Carl, have I haven't, I haven't said anything out. about it. No, 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 I haven't no, no, said no, no, anything no, no, about it. No, 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 Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Okay. There have been I haven't made a claim to that, though. Been doing. I didn't say you'd made the claim to it. I'm laying okay. out the framework because sure. I know there are going to be people who don't know where we're coming from. Because okay. I am making jokes that you have to know the facts about. So, much like I did in my own video, I'll put that in the uh, in the podcast chat. If anybody wants to watch it. I have been paying very well attention while these riots have been going down because not only have they personally affected me, but it's affecting everybody in the same way of what I'm saying. That's why it doesn't matter what business it is that got burned down. It's the fact that things are being burned down instead of people doing nonviolent protest and not destroying their own cities. It doesn't matter if it was a puppy smashing factory. It doesn't matter if it's Nike. It doesn't matter if it's Barcelona's. It doesn't matter if it's Juicy Couture. It doesn't matter if it's Wendy's or McDonald's or Burger King or fucking Arby's. You don't burn down your own neighborhoods because of police injustices that you have against not the officer, not the men who were there on the ground, but against the very system that is responsible for the shit that has people in the streets using their voices, where they have celebrities being called to arms as the voices to stand against it. I don't need celebrities to speak for me. I can speak for me, and the streets are speaking for themselves. There are some people who have done everything absolutely perfectly right, 
and they're still getting shat on because silence is violence. It, it doesn't matter what you use for the comparison because the point will still go back to whether or not do I, me, on the sidelines, being affected by people's violent actions to think are all cops bastards. Clearly, and I answered this before, I answered it twice. No, all cops are not bastards. They definitely are. But it's are. clearly more than enough. There is more than enough bad officers who have been getting away with this, if not for months, if not for years, their entire career in the police force. So let, there me, are good officers. let me ask you a question, There are Carl. good officers. Yes. Okay. So what do you what you know what the Second Amendment was made for, right? And what what it what it's there for, right? It's, yes, it's to, I it's know a fight, that it it's was a fight made against it's to fight against, fight against tyranny, tyranny. Uh, uh, inside oppressive. of our own state, but right? We're being oppressed so, by so our own you, people. Who are so trying you, to you've take you've that been up. talking you've been talking for a solid five minutes. I've been keeping track. Can go you ahead, just go ahead. okay, okay, go okay. Ahead. So when you give a man a badge and a gun, uh, he does have more rights than you. That's that's not this this not like a question of it. If you get harassed by a police officer, which I have been, right, and it can be totally off the books. It can be it can be gone to time. It, there there can be no records of it, and you just have to deal with it. You have to sit down and take it up the ass. People in this area obviously are getting tired of taking it up the ass. Now I don't condone rioting. I don't condone random businesses being fucked up. Like I do, I I may think it's a good thing that certain businesses do get fucked up but that's separate to this issue if you are being Isn't oppressed it? if you are being oppressed then you should fight up against uh, you should rise up against that tyranny you should rise up against that oppression obviously these people are under the impression that they are oppressed and they told their community we want change and now they're gonna get it and whatever change they get it could work it could not work it doesn't matter they fought up and they fought against what was fucking hurting them uh that's something i admire I don't think yeah, they're going the right direction with it. Corporations that are oppressing them. Bro. Yes, are you kidding it me? It is the actions. No, I am not kidding. Because the point of all of this happening is because of police officers and their bad policing, not corporations. It you don't. You don't think do corporate. You don't think corporations play a part in our government at all. They do to the extent of their money. But clearly, you think that is not you the think thing money that has a interest. stopping point. That's that's fu it's funny. That's not what I said. That's not what I said. Because you just said it's set the issue of the corporations having businesses destroyed is separate to the issue of the policing. Yes, was that a statement that you just made? I think yeah. I th I think it's good that some businesses were destroyed on a separate on a separate issue. Right on a separate issue is that um, including the people who have for generations built their businesses off the back of working with those communities. No, people who have the small business. Oh, I, I, I I weep for the small businesses. Oh, so you care about the small businesses, but not the large businesses. But you just said no. I never. I went. never. I never said the large yes, businesses you either. You said no. it three times. I did. I say large businesses, Carl. Can you replay that for what me? What is the corporation? Okay. What is the corporation, Carl? What I'm saying specifically is businesses that oppress people. I'm not making a claim no, to which businesses oppress people. You started with corporations, they're responsible for it. The money went into it. I think Small a lot of I think a lot of I can't name the specific corporations, but I think a lot of corporations are I involved just in government. Some of them. Every single one of them that participated in the blackout is one of those corporations. Is one of those corporations that what? Is one of those corporations that is 100% leaning with the mob as they scream, silence is violence, while no. all of those people's voices are being silenced, like the small business owners who have built their jobs and their stores and their businesses and companies, countries, and their own communities around them working have outright had their shit destroyed and raised to the ground. Because Carl, I don't, uh, Carl, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Guys. Let's land the plane, guys. Let's land the plane. Yeah, let's land the plane. I, I have no idea. You, you're jumping for five different subjects. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying to talk about. They're all connected to the same thing. I'm trying Time to talk about. I know exactly what you're talking about. My, you're talking about the fact that you think corporations burning, directly burning, fund burning. police, but you also forget the fucking fact that it's the mayors and the cities that are fucking corrupt. You kind of no. forgot that uh, link in the chain. I'm yeah. sorry. I, I'm not forgetting any link of the chain. I think if yeah, I, if, you, if you don't like your mayor, over it. if you don't you like your mayor, if you don't like your mayor, you should take him out to the guillotine and cut his fucking head off. Is that is that no, what you want? No, we should not. Kill yes, people. you sh you should kill people. No, no, you don't. Do not commit violence against people. Wait, wait, wait! I can only, I can only, I can, only, I, can, right I can only civil hear one person at a time. Please. Shut up. If we're on the right of civil liberties, right? Civil rights, correct? Okay. Yes. 
violence incites more violence. It does. Absolutely. Yeah. The, the, like the point of a democracy is that we don't need the guillotine anymore. We don't okay. need the Do you... guillotine the corrupt mayor this this democracy is is tainted um i don't think it's a true democracy anymore you so, don't know what democracy point, is point, no, okay point. okay mariner okay mariner guys, okay guys, mariner. No, guys, no, 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 guys, no, no. guys 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 <laughs> guys okay the, the main reason that things are allowed to get corrupt and things are corrupt is not because that it's suddenly unfixable or always been unfixable it's the fact that most people are just apathetic to politics in the first place most yes. people don't bother looking into deep things or looking into what side is actually what or who does anything because it's too much work to do all that those are what we call they would stupid rather people. just vote that's most of that's 90 percent of people that's what we call stupid people <laughs> that's, that's the largest I mean, population we have a better word for that it's what we call slacktivists mariner you said i didn't I'm know what democracy slack, is i want to talk to you about that not the slacktivists it's just people oh, don't bother people don't bother to look into any of this because it's too much work. They would rather just make a choice and go on with their lives and then blame other people for the choice they made. Mm -hmm. But it's oh, debate stream, please, guys. I, I'm yes. getting tired of debates, honestly. Ooh, ooh. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Don't worry. Uh, but uh, Len, how many you haven't done anything in a while? Let's get to you. What do you think about, you know, this? About, about it all? All my support goes out to people that are peacefully protesting. That's fair. Um, that's true. Just because it sounds like they're out there for the right reasons. And I, I don't feel like you have to riot and loot to be able to get what you want. I understand that they're trying to make a stir. However, I don't believe that the people who are out there rioting and looting are doing it for reasons of getting progress i think they're out there doing it because it's convenient time is opportunity it's true i mean i was i remember watching the stream uh last watching um cnn last sunday and they had a live feed of of i'm not sure where this was but it was a, a huge crowd going to the streets and it just paused on one section of the crowd for like 30 minutes and it was just a, a, a dance party in the middle of the protest and i was like are, do they actually care about any of this or are they just out to be out I mean, I'm sure a large and, portion of it is out to be out. Yeah. Plus, dance brings people together. <laughs> um, you always that. did say that locking someone in a room by themselves does drive people crazy. <coughs> yeah, because you deny them stimulus sure and then the they're left with themselves. lockdown is a contributing factor to why people are so up and motive to get out. Oh, absolutely, yes. and people predicted this. Look, so wait, someone just said Officer Chauvin will walk free because the DA chose a murder two charge instead of aggravated manslaughter. That is 100% he's definitely not, true. He's definitely, like, I don't believe he's going to walk free now because of because of the massive amounts of outrage that will he happen did walk if he free, walks free. I'm pretty sure there are a thousand people waiting to stand at the courthouse to not let him leave. Yeah, they would. Even if he did walk free, he died. If he does he not would walk die free, then that would be a bad that trial. Would be a gigantic clusterfuck if people murdered like, him. Like, of course, it would be a bad trial. But like, uh, what's it called? The uh, what was that? Remember that case in uh, Charlottesville where that guy who uh, hit the girl got like 140 years. Yeah, or something. That was, that that was, was also hard. a bad trial. Bad trials happen, and they will happen. And I believe that in this case, the bad trial that will occur here is him not going free. Yeah, he probably will be acquitted. Now, Mariner, I don't want to call you a weasel, but uh oh, that's interesting coming from oh. you. But continue. Why do you? Why do you oh. think? Why do you think I'm a weasel, Mariner? Oh, you have you have you listened to yourself. Oh, so, okay. So you don't have anything. You're just a bitch. Okay. So I I, I don't want to call no, you a okay. weasel. No, no, I know. No, I know exactly what you're gonna say. It's about. I said. What do you I, mean said to, I said. I said. Yes. Exactly. Exactly. Is. You you ran away from it because, because I I don't think you can. I don't think you can defend is the, it. Is the, is the, it. No, because your idea of democracy is whatever you don't, outcome you I don't, like. Is you don't democracy. know what I think. Your democracy entire is. argument, this entire you have, time, okay, hold on, hold you have no on, idea. Wait, you have wait, no wait, idea wait, what wait, I think a democracy is. Strong. I don't change your answer if it kind of isn't going hold on, your way. Hold on, hold on. I know you like to yell, but. Blood sports with a bunch of raging. Oh, it's it's coming. It's coming, Amy. Don't worry about it. Your blood sports is for Twitch, Amy. Your blood sports is for Twitch. Confirmed. Oh, sure. Yeah, the blood sports is for Twitch. Okay, like, Twitter is for uh, YouTube is for fun discussion. 
Not yes. blood sports, guys. Yes. I'm down with that. You blood sports. We're even going to do this. We need moderators. Period. No. Nah, that's that's like the uh, that's like the opposite of blood sports. Are you kidding me? Okay, so Mariner, if you Carl Mariner, if you want to go on Twitch or whatever, or on a separate show that me and Time Shark are cooking up, and you want to talk about this in like a blood sports context, I'm totally down with that. I'm fine with that. Yeah, but, but pose uh, guys, not, guys, 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 tune into tune into Digital Bloodface on Twitch. Oh, Digital <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. oh God! But no, seriously, if we're gonna if we're gonna have it out like this, we need moderators. We're no, not going to do it on that, our own channel. We're going to go to third-party sources like Faraday Speaks, and we're going to have it out. Faraday, I don't give two flying fucks about Faraday Speaks. I, I, do, you, do you know what Blood Sports is, Carl? Yes. Okay. It's where nothing gets done because everybody's talking and shitting uh, on each other. Not talking on the actual issue. You're one of those. Oh, I'm so sorry. Maybe maybe someday sorry, you'll take you the stick out of your days? ass. Blood sports? Maybe sometimes, uh, maybe someday you'll take the stick right out of your ass, Carl, and then you'll start how, doing how about something. This? I'll, I'll, I'll ask, I'll ask Worski to moderate. For oh, like Worski to? Okay, that would I would I would cry. That Worski would be beautiful. Would cower in a no. corner while Carl yells. Invite Medica. <laughs> Invite Medica, please. Oh my God, Jesus Christ. <sighs> okay, okay. Let's, 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 let's pull away from all the like arguing and blood sports for a bit, okay? We're making a Amy, you haven't said anything in a while. How about you? What do you have to say about all this? You know, <clears throat> I don't really have much to say about it. That's fair. I really a don't. Lot, a lot has been said already. Yeah, a lot has been said. I've too watched much, much, uh, two people fact. scream at each other dirty, over dirty centrist. the Puppy arguments of exactly. businesses. Yeah. And I, I do agree that burning down a business will get you nowhere. I disagree with that, Amy. Not in a mil no, not in a million years. I guess, Since when is destroying differ. the livelihoods and your economy of your own neighborhood? Definitely makes me sympathetic toward BLM. Apart, ripping the money <laughs> from minorities and their small businesses and ripping minorities from their jobs at larger corporations. Well, How I mean, if you help anybody, if you want to frame it in a Fox News the, context, then I guess no, it's going to help nobody. But uh, <laughs> if you build that's upon not that, a Fox oh, News uh, context, work, I'm that's sure. the reality. That's my, reality. Dude. My, my name that's is Burner, reality. not Time Shark. Thank you. Don't give a shit. Do you work? Just Do as work? a question. Yeah, sure. No, no, no. Do you actually have a job? Yeah, I did. I just say yes. I think I did. <laughs> I, no, I, I just I'm not wanted a, to make sure you understood the question. I'm not a girl that likes to repeat herself. Yes, I do. Well, time shark. That's not a. Okay. What? Well, he's burner. He's this is burner. This is burner. It's yeah, kind of hard to tell the difference, Poe. Yeah. <laughs> Very funny. Oh, that's funnier in more ways than the audience knows. Were you were you Either going way. anywhere with that, or was like was that train reaching the station, or were you just off the rails on that one, Mariner? Well, it's just odd that you seem very okay with just destroying people's businesses because you don't like capitalism. That's not that's that's that not what I said. I never said I didn't like capitalism either. I never said I didn't like capitalism. You were you're, you're first of all you 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 are putting like hay inside of my clothes and then you were stringing me up on a cross like a big straw man okay you you mentioned that capitalism wasn't ideal and i never met i never to... rewind the tape i never said a single thing about capitalism cap 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 i'm putting the cap on we're making a comeback oh, either shit. way destroying the businesses of minorities and crippling the economy in your neighborhood is not a surefire way to show that you are powerful. That is a surefire way to make sure that your community stays homeless, poor, for the rest of their lives. Because nobody's going to want to set up shop in a community where they're burning shit down. That's not a Fox yeah. News frame. That's not a CNN frame. That's not uh, plastered on a fucking golden plate. That's reality. Don't you think uh, there's a difference between what you said earlier and then what you said right now? Don't you, no, think I, a, don't you think there's a massive don't you think there's a massive difference in wording and what you said? Well, no, I'm speaking from the heart. Okay, sure. Burner. Well, you can speak from the heart. That's cool. I'm just, I'm, I was I'll just speak wondering. I'll from the heart because I own a business, right? You, I wouldn't want to see you. You supposedly my are a CEO, yeah. Oh no, God. I wouldn't want to see my community be burnt into shambles. Nowhere for them to go. No money to make no freedoms to live off because of an oppressive police force 
on top of that. I don't think I ever advocated for that. Burning down everything that they could ever want in the name of life. A man you can't bring back to life. Well, I agree with you. I I agree with everything you just said. I never made an argument for burning down everything. (laughs) Why would you make an argument for burning down anything? Uh, because it gets shit done. People, fire, fire, hurt. Ow, ow, fire. Ook, ook, hurt. So, so people don't want to be burned, so they stay in line. I'm an, I don't, I'm, I, an an, I'm an anarcho primitivist. <laughs> okay, look, I can't agree with the fact that burning burning things down, actually, burning buildings down, burning buildings, burning uh, companies, burning businesses down changes anything because at most all, all it's doing is just it's it's making a statement. Sure, I, I'm full on the fact that it makes a statement, but does it actually accomplish anything other than saying, oh, we're very serious about how we feel? That's all it says. But like, does it make a deliberate statement towards actually uh, a goal? No, it doesn't accomplish a goal. It just makes a statement. And a statement without a goal is pointless. Well, no, nailing in a hammer doesn't make a statement either. But nailing in a hammer to a guillotine makes a bigger statement than anything. I mean, we're only looking at a... When you say burning down businesses doesn't help anyone, you're only looking at the tool. The tool of, of change, right? Now, whoever is holding the tool of change, that, that makes the story. That makes the, uh, that makes the difference. Um, now, just burning shit down, yeah, it's kind of kind of gay. I don't like it. Um, but well, burning things down burning for a purpose. Shit down for I beg like to the differ. Purpose of using a tool. People are, are burning down are shit down and me? using the opportunity to steal shit. You can't burn. You can't wait. If it's on fire, you can't steal shit. No. Yeah. People me. looted the target and then burnt it down. Not I'm not for advocating George for Floyd, looting a target. But because they wanted to steal something. I mean, yeah, literally I saw like I this saw a guy with a cart of like five seventy inch TVs. <laughs> that, dude like, the the that, that dude with the, the Lego set. That dude with the Lego set killed me. Seventy inch TVs don't bring the nigga back. Exactly. <laughs> it uh but it, it does ease it doesn't, the pain, it doesn't dismantle the system. It either. do make me a little less sad that he died though. I mean rip in peace, my man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna watch it, uh, Sports Center now. It doesn't dismantle the system; it it, it tears it down. No, I never. And said what it happens when you don't have a system to function off? Um, you become an it, anarchist. There's society. a reason why anarchy is not a favorable position to be in. A lot of people would people don't naturally it. want to leave their comfort state when it comes to things like that. Understandably, because comfortable is what we know. I'm not <laughs> suggesting in any form that we push for anarchy. I'm. <laughs> making a statement about why perhaps they would care not to incite it. If you are comfy in your home and you want to stay comfy, then stay home. Don't talk about the riots. Don't talk about the protests. Don't talk about the BLM or whatever. Well, just, why just, just stay home. talk about the riots? Well, because if you <clears throat> want to stay comfy, that if you don't want change... Well, there's no staying comfy when your business gets burnt down and then there's nowhere for you to work. Exactly. Then so, your comfort's yeah. ruined. Certainly can't stay comfy if the job you're working at is burnt down and you have no other options and no other avenues to go to. So my point was saying that... You can't just uh, say move out of city because now you're poor. My point was saying that is that you're not supposed to stay comfy. Staying comfy is is, is awful, I think. Just makes so people don't go outside to destroy things and riot and pillage and burn or go out and make an autonomous zone and do all that and rape and not have anyone hold you accountable. Hold your representatives accountable. Hold your senators accountable. Hold your president accountable if you want to go that far and go beat them up in the polls. Vote them out. Don't destroy your neighborhoods. Well, here's, the thing, here's the thing, Carl. Here's the thing, Carl. Im- Im- imagine the thinking, imagine the thinking that people actually have the choice in America. Oh, one at a time. I I I uh, I find it astounding how people still think that um, Americans choose who uh, is like president. I mean, in in local elections, sure, you could you could definitely do that if you had enough people. But on the higher levels, man, that's that's a really hard case to make, isn't it? Because corruption doesn't start from the top down; it starts from the bottom up. People get elected in local politics, and they get up to the positions, and then they have their shit reflected downwards. Just I don't do necessarily agree, Carl, office. because the one percent tends to be the top. What? It does tend, to be. and they're usually the ones who are controlling it via the corporations and lobbying. Also true. So you acknowledge corporations Carl, and lobbying, and also think that people. Have I never said stuff. that I didn't. Why I... do you keep trying to make it that I did? I'm not. I'm not trying to say anything. I'm just following your train of logic. So you're saying that corruption exists, but. Uh, the people still have the choice. Is that what you're saying? 
I'm asking I'm for saying corruption exists, and rather than people talk about why that corruption's there, they would rather run to an easy to explain one word argument to take away all of their fears and struggles and set up one man as an actual straw man. I don't deal with straw. I'd rather break down the steel that made that infrastructure and rebuild it into something useful. You're doing a pretty good job. <laughs> You're not. Oh, it's okay. I think I'm doing a great job. I mean, I'm going to be president one day, so. <sighs> I'm not going to lie to you. President of the autonomous. It's I will be president. It's a terrifying thought. I'm I will not be even president trying to throw of the shade. new United it is a terrifying States. Thought, though. Yes. Well, to be honest, I've always like I believe that one day I could be president of the new founding fathers. <laughs> <laughs> and I have a interesting new experiment that I feel could really improve the country. Do you guys like to hear about it? No. Sure. Okay. <laughs> I hear about it. No, I'm interested. It's called the it's called the purge. It's called the purge. Oh, so you see, I see, the concept is that people are so pent up and they need to express their political and um their political opinions in a way that works best. Violence. So I say once every year for 16 hours, you let them go wild. That sounds like a fucking terrible idea, my man. Please don't do that. <laughs> Mini Abraham Lincoln already wanting people to die. <laughs> Look, people are going to die anyway. I'm just speeding it up. By the way, I'm also an ac accelerationist. I believe that the end of the world should come quickly and fast. Please, yes, please. We put our hands together. Let us pray. Um, Doomers. None there, of this black pill shit. Fuck off. Because they're not gay. There was a photo recently. <laughs> um, someone someone spray painted uh, do DMT or something like that. Everyone should do DMT, and I, you know what? I agree with that. Everyone should do DMT, and then then we can reconstruct society. Then we'll have a good time. Okay. Uh, whoa, Kimosabi, dead air. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I thought there was more. Sorry. I was, oh, I was gonna no, say, just, just like, should DMT? I start talking about where I can't get DMT? Um, you can. I, mean, I just, I just be glad to get some weed, to be honest. You can literally just some walk outside. Good. Just go outside. That's like, I don't know anyone who sells weed anymore. Like, all my weed people, like, he has a job now. He, I mean, he still has dreads, but he's like a manager, so. <laughs> so you know, Tell he probably manage weed. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but anyway, back to what we were saying before, uh, before the purge, before uh, my political hopes, before um, uh, the anarcho prim primitivism. <laughs> Do you guys think Twitter is ever going to shut up? Twitter is ever going to shut up about uh, if you don't support BLM, you're a bad person? It's yes. absolutely like, it's not. like that for various things for. I'd say years. That's it's just more visible because of the power of the hashtag of BLM, honestly. It has more power as a tool to spread and incite that kind of violence because political action is violence, everyone. It is power that you're expressing. It's always going to be an easy tool that will never go away because we live in that age where it happens like that now. That, that is how it do and be. Twitter should be shut the fuck down. They 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 need to be really sure for their crimes. Realistically, it should be since they're funded by government money. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna have to find a different pastime. The, doesn't that get the noggin <laughs> jogging? Mm. <laughs> oh shit! Go ride a bike. That'll help. <laughs> just it's do a hot. tab of LSD. And you know what? Forget being president. Forget being president. I just one day hope to get on Joe Rogan's podcast. I'm That's going to become emperor. Don't we all, Poe? Don't, Don't we, all? we all? Yeah. Oh my god. So, Poe, um, yeah. So about your Discord server, I've heard a lot about it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, continue. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, yeah, there are lots of people, uh, lots of people uh, calling each other monkeys. What do you think about that, Poe? What do you think about that? I, I consider well, myself yeah. a monkey. Have you ever done DMT? Huh? <laughs> well, no, I've never done DMT, Joe. But my Discord server does have a lot of people using monkeys and other racist slang terms. And I believe people should be allowed to do that. You know, of course, as long as they don't do it to me, otherwise they get, they get banned. Are we, otherwise are we, they get banned. To me, they get banned. Simple. That's how it goes. We're role-playing Joe Rogan now? I don't know. Are we? Are Jamie, we, Jamie, can you, you do, is this what you two do when I'm not here? Jamie, can you pull <laughs> up all of the, the list of slurs? Thank you. Thank you, Jamie. I appreciate it. I mean, 
Mm. <laughs> oh my god! But let's let's move on. Let's move on. You said you wanted to talk about Sakimi Chan too. Hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, didn't we already uh, talk about Sakimi Chan? Uh, I we mentioned did it. kind of before we started. A we bit. talked about it before, but we didn't mention it other than me on the broadcast. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Once you take that one, I've I've had too much fun already. So, <laughs> Lamb, anything you want to talk about? <laughs> I don't know anything about this zucchini person. <laughs> okay. zucchini. Poor, poor Lamb Hanner I had her identity <laughs> stolen by some dear Twitch woman, and now she's at yeah. the bottom of the barrel. <laughs> okay, look, zucchini Chan. Zucchini Chan is uh, uh, an artist who is you known for drawing like vaguely lewd art uh, and very good art and um she was recently under fire for a drawing nessa from pokemon a dark-skinned character vaguely lighter skinned not even like really noticeable but it was enough for art twitter to go this is she's lighter this is bad this is uh whitewashing cancel this woman and now she because they found out she was liking both anti-cop and pro-cop tweets they're like oh yeah let's cancel her she's horrible she's evil uh, BLM, all cops are bastards, blah, 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 whatever. So really, she really, didn't do anything. she really didn't do anything, but it's She was trying cool. to stay neutral, but she made the mistake of uh, being on Twitter. And you know, the, the funny thing, it's always the same type of art people. It's not the uh, vaguely offensive or vaguely, it's the people who are all like in their bio, cute, uh, happy, love, li life, live, love, whatever, uh, flowers and Ooh, soft girl emojis. It's always the soft artists that always go after people like this. Well, not oh, all. Oh yes, I have seen some of this. Yeah. Well, yeah. When you have no um, when you have no self esteem, right? Like these soft girl artists don't have. Uh, you have to go after other people, and you have to seek the appreciation of other people to feel good about yourself. Um, which is why most you people are on You should just tell all of them to fuck off, to be honest with you, and be done with it. I mean, she already made oh, an apology, oh, oh, so she kind of oh, ruined it. Yeah. Well, uh, I'm not gonna it. Ruined it. And more yeah. importantly than that, I was one of the many people who said, listen, Sakimi, you, you don't have to be to do this. Just tell them to go fuck themselves. You know what Twitter said? They said, shut the fuck up, Carl. Get locked for 12 hours. They yeah. told a black man, trying to help a minority woman, an Asian, of no, no, no less. That yo, you can tell these people to go fuck themselves. I give you my voice, and they silenced it. Which that's kind of how it goes on Twitter.com. This it's what makes it. A Nobody lot pays attention to me, so I don't have to worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm it, too it small a bait for them to take. Don't worry, Lamb. That when they come for the boys, they'll lynch you and me together. Jesus Christ. Great. Carl, you yep. can't say, if I ever had any hope of getting those sponsors, it's gone. No, po <laughs> you can definitely get a sponsor from NordVPN. Look, <laughs> true. It, it was supposed to be. It was supposed to be a personal sponsor from this like um uh 3D printer, small 3D printer company. That's, but it looks like that's well, not. Well, you know happening. what? You know what? 3D printer company, we love you. Um, we hope to have you uh as a sponsor. Um, we care about you. And we will do you right. Uh, that that's all you have to say. And I think I think you would mean it if you said it. So that's all they care about. I mean I mean if they're a Why good sponsor, a they shouldn't care. With the what? With the what? With what? In the what? Very good question. Totally what's in this podcast? Oh my god! What, what is in my podcast chat right now? Toast on what the are toilet. You? Toast on the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, 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 why? why is there all that toast in that toilet? There's so much toast. That's not even there. a house toilet. That oh, means yeah. someone took toast. Someone took toast to a public toilet and put it all over the place. Someone yes. carried toast from oh, home. Yeah. God bless the who... man for dedication. Yeah. Oh my god. No, honestly, look, look, in the podcast, You've man, been I, toasted. I, look, someone said I have a Japanese friend and I know this shit isn't too popular over there. And there was actually um, uh, there was a black activist in Japan who was making comments, and then uh, so many comments from the Japanese people. 4chan translated the comments, and they mm -hmm. were just no, they were vaguely racist. I'm gonna admit that. Yeah, so, oh yes, oh, yes. Well, they were they were just ghosting that guy. Are you telling me the oh, Japanese yes. I got him. are I got him. racist? What? Oh, Say what? I know, amazing. Right? No way. Hold on, hold on. I no, got that. I got I that. Get, I, get, I could get a dollar if I could get a dollar Shave Club or a Raid Shadow Legend sponsorship. That would be yeah, awesome. Red Bullets, dude. Come on. 
You know what? <laughs> you could live stream Raid, Raid Shadow, Shadow Legends dude, on your Twitter. Dude, Gundam that you have a chance. Look, I I believe if Raid Shadow Legends is listening and if they feel like sponsoring this shit show of podcast. Have you ever awesome. tried Raid Shadow Legends? Amy, Amy, one second. I've never been much of a mobile gamer myself, but forget everything you think you know about mobile games. <laughs> because Raid Shadow Legends <laughs> is one of the most ambitious RPG products of 2019. It's just been released and will change everything. Is it true that if you play Raid Shadow Legends, you get a bigger penis instantly? Is that true? I believe so. Okay. okay. Bigger penis and balls. Good, good, good. <laughs> like the I size of great. But, 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 but more, more importantly, more importantly, yeah. does it give you extra vainage? <laughs> to be honest, it's, it's I love vainage. I, Carl, let's let the vainage go. Let's let the vainage go. <laughs> so why do Snickers have such huge dorsal veins? By the way, so no. Don't like, know. Yeah. Now back to the point. What was the point? <laughs> I'm the right. You're wrong. And it's the harassment of Sakimi. It was the harassment of Sakimi. I mean, it's uh, the harassment of everybody by now. It's honestly, it has been. They harass foreigners. They harass U.S. based artists. They harass, they harass Japanese artists. artists. My man they, Mike has been harassing him too. Like, that's yeah. Crazy. And it's like it's the answer in every situation is always the same, which is fuck these people. You have no fun. Go outside and pick up a football. Who's supposed to care about you harassing them because you can't draw their art? It doesn't make sense. Why? Why? What? What? What are you changing? Who are you helping? Are you doing it for me? Fuck you! I didn't ask you to do that. Download Raid Shadow Legends and you get thicker dorsal veins instantly. <laughs> um. So you're not a fan of people speaking for you, Carl. Not really, no. Yeah, I can I fuck up my own arguments by myself, or I can get them right by myself. Fair. I don't. I don't need a corporation to try to say that they support me in my struggle. You want to support me in my struggle? Give me five hundred dollars. <laughs> Other than that, I don't need you to go on social media and say, "Carl, it's okay. I will speak for you," unless like you silenced me. And that's kind of what happens in a lot of these cases. The, the mob like to think that they're doing things to, to stand in solidarity, which is kind of the same reason why they say things like silence is violence, science is complicity. It, it's really not. If pe- This is really important, especially when people try to come for John Chon again, a whole year later removed from the shit that involved Destiny, despite the fact he's never said any of that shit again. He's never made any political move like that again. He just wants to make people laugh, and people try to tell him that he needs to say something or do something, just like it was for him as a comedian, it is for Sakini as an artist. It would, would be for me as a satirist, which is, they don't have to do anything that they don't want to. If they feel that they want to, and they do it, and it comes from the heart, then that's their choice. I can't take their choice or their actions away from them. But what we're not going to do is try to destroy their business, because you don't like the fact that they didn't say your political slogan. That's not okay. fair. Guys, how do, you feel, uh, how do you feel about all the celebrities saying that uh, they're at fault or they're complicit or whatever. The I don't care. That well, they, the companies are complicit? Like, no, remember when uh, Aaron Paul, uh, Stanley Tucci, Kristen Bell, and all of them, like, did a, that video, like, three days ago about how they're saying, like, oh, uh, I take responsibility. I take responsibility. I will never let a racist joke go uh, oh, without they were me all from that. The, they were all hired by the same company. Or all they're all hired the by the same agency. Yeah. yeah. We'll f- we'll fuck and even if they weren't hired at the agency, and even if they weren't hired by the same agency, this is the same shit that was during the COVID. We all remember the Imagine campaign. Let's not remember that again. Oh yeah, the infamous Based Popeyes. Popeyes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Popeyes. 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 Oh my god. Popeyes would be Popeyes 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 Oh my they god. They do though. They do though. To be honest, look, to be honest, Pop- I would if I, if I was Popeyes. I was Popeyes. Both of them. If I was Popeyes, I would not have backed down. I would have just doubled down. I would have just continued with it. They I would, didn't I would, back I would, down, I would, did they? I would, they, no, they deleted it and then they rewrote it. They rewrote it. They rewrote it. They deleted it and rewrote it. See, oh. if I were them, if I were hey, them. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What did they rewrite it to? Like they yeah. started with like Popeyes would be nothing without Black Lives and then continued on instead of just stopping there. Yeah, <laughs> they should have just left it. Look, if I was Popeyes, I would have said no. You double down. You make sure you you keep that and you make another tweet with more words. You keep no, that. What up. I would have done. What I would have done the same thing, but then come back with the when they tell you, you you need to take it back. You double down. Now we're introducing the Popeyes double down sandwich with pure <laughs> breast meat chicken. <laughs> KFC already had that. KFC already had that. With real watermelon. Yeah. 
Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Watermelon, you're not human. I know. Brave statement. I said it. Watermelons are not human. I agree. <laughs> Fuck are you deaf? I, I didn't hear. I, all I heard Gotta was. Gotta warm it up first. All I heard was. Ted, <laughs> if you you know, I've watermelon. Never, I've never tried that. It. I've never Wait, tried that watermelon it. thing. Does it actually feel good? Does anybody know? Who can who can verify this? I can't watermelon. say. Oh my god. Instructions what, were unclear. What, what watermelon thing? <laughs> Instructions perfectly clear. Dick stuck in watermelon. <laughs> I don't have one. Or you say that like I it's have a nothing problem, to get though. stuck in there. Oh my god. <laughs> I feel like it would be a problem because, I mean, if it's stuck there, what if I have to pee? Then you, you can pee in the watermelon. watermelon. Instead of having like a Mountain Dew can, you just have the just watermelon. Just be like the tranny who sucked the watermelon on Pornhub. The what? Was that a good video? It was a uh, video? It was lit. It was lit. Oh, wait, 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 wait. This was a video? Yes. You all, have, saw it. you all saw this, but I haven't. I haven't seen it. How how fitting that Poe eat that watermelon, eat that watermelon, eat that watermelon show is good. Hasn't seen the watermelon fuck. Okay. Also, that that statement by Carl. There's a there's a video of 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 two two black guys in like exaggerated blackface uh, making fun of rappers uh, of, of two thousand rappers for being uh, excessively uh, racist. That's that's where that came from. If you need context. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, Chidi. I think we got it. Okay. Anyway, I was not. I was unaware that this was a video of. Okay, why is she fucking a watermelon in the first place? Who cares? Because she's fucking a watermelon. Because that shit. Like, is it like a, an amateur video? Is it like a, literally, no explanation needed. Is it like, is it like an amateur video? Is it like a, a a company produced it? It's like what what's going on here? I imagine it was probably Better. an amateur video. Oh, <laughs> The actually, shit is always actually, the best. I'm actually interested now in, in seeing this video. Poe fucks po watermelon when? <laughs> you would be. <laughs> <I'm a> freak. <laughs> it I would mean, be Poe that's into watermelon porn. Like no, my first video, the first video that I posted, the first cringe video I posted on Twitter was literally like a. I'm pretty sure it was a trap, like shitting out a hot dog and then eating it. Yeah. Disgust me. You have, I mean, you already posted it like a few months ago. Was it a cooked hot dog or? It was, it was a cook cook hot dog. Dog. Okay, then that's fine. That's fine. I'm sure it's fine. And fortunately, fortunately, there was no shit on the dog. There was. There was none. So I mean, so she probably. She like, probably you ever seen one man one jar? That shit's pretty lit. The one where the, where the jar is in his ass and then it explodes. Uh yes. Yeah, but and I've seen it. Like, grating of the glass inside his butt. I've seen at least ten. Seen at least ten. Oh, lamb, why do you hurt me like this? The moistness of the watermelon really soothes the genitals. Yeah, don't, don't say moist. Don't don't say I moist. Like when... Tunnel dies, Lamus is going to consume his soul or something. Wait, wait, is Lamus succubus or what? What is she? As a resident nigga now. <laughs> we did it, Reddit! Oh, I'm mad! I, I, am, I, am I, am never, I am never getting a sponsorship, I swear to God. Oh. <laughs> Not with us, problematic motherfucker, getting any muggins. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. I don't know what the fuck is Oh, you said you wanted to see this video, right? Yeah, just send it send it to me on Discord. There you go. Send it to Have me fun. on Discord too, please. Oh, oh. oh my god. Pretty please, Amy. Some people can Love taste you. the sweetness of watermelon through their genitals. Uh <laughs> as full scream sure is good. Oh my god. So far so good. Oh yeah. my. Are you literally reviewing this video live on stream? Finger God. Go ahead, do it. Just tell it. Let's, let's type let's... a nigga to review a dead body on stream. What are you talking about? Come on, come on, Lamb. Just review it and just round up this whole podcast. Do you want me to just like say what I feel as I'm watching it? Sure. What you feel, everything. Give us the whole oh, thing. Well, so... She's. They are carving a hole into the top of the watermelon. Yes. <laughs> with yes. a steak knife. Mm hmm. <laughs> The tits don't look bad, actually. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> the tits don't look bad. That's always good to make sure of that. Oh no! Someone posted fucking Shoda. A nice. screenshot from a Shoda fucking thing in the plot. Which, which episode? I think it was episode three. Amy, did they post it in the in the secret admin chat or? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, Secret so... admin chat. It's literally in podcast town. 
Oh, that's not a gay show, Tawon. It's I do gay. not care. <laughs> I do not care, my man. Oh, is that a creeper? Aw, oh, man. Aw, oh, man. Aw, oh, man. Still, oh, wow. Okay, that's not, it's, I mean, it's a hole, but it's not a round hole. That's a square hole. And he about to put a round, oh, she man. about to put a round thing in a square hole. So we back in the mine, got our pickaxe swinging from side to Fucking, side. I swear to God. Wait, so how, is the video good? Is it a bad video? What, what's, what's, what's I mean, the, I haven't, do you want me to skip forward a little bit? But I, I mean, okay, please hold on, hold on. Cause they're still be doing so some high. cutting work here. Be still so cutting it. Oh no, okay, the dick's out. Would you kind of dicks out? Oh my god! Oh, my god. Dicks out. Dicks out. oh Jesus, man! I mean, <laughs> we're it's not, reviewing a watermelon. It's not a. It's not a really impressive piece. I mean, like the watermelon or the dick? Either or. <laughs> it's like oh. okay. Mariner, is He's this your got, video? She's got the watermelon uh, oh, I'm, at I'm, the. Oh, uh, the head's in of the water, head's into the watermelon, pushing it like vi rather forcefully into the melon. <laughs> oh my. Unless that's room temperature, I'm assuming. Oh my cool. god, the balls just like sucked right up into himself very quickly, I'm sure, because of the cold. All right, so it's watermelon. Very clear cold watermelon. It's juice going oh everywhere, god. man. It's a fucking juice melon going massacre. Everywhere. Juice Gushing going everywhere. Juice going everywhere. Gushing like a dojin. Oh my god. I can't believe this is actually what we're doing. Anyways, thanks for thanks for coming into the thanks for coming in uh, tuning in today. Uh we'll be signing off right about now. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Please like and subscribe. take us out. I will take Remember, you Remember everybody, direct all your hate mail to twitch to twitter.com slash single player carl. <laughs> yep, sponsorship spot still open. Um be sure to turn in uh, tune into that Twitch show coming up soon. Um, yeah. Love you.